what's up everybody this is me ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial i'm gonna show you how to show the alert dialog box for alerting user to show some information in android phone using android programming now let's do it before implementing the alert dialog box code in android studio let us know about uh, some basic theory of dialog box now what is dialog box a dialog is a small window that prompts the user to make a decision or enter additional information as you can see in the figure below it is the two dialog box one is to set the message to set the number of the message to save and the another one is erase usb storage and this section is called the title of the dialog and this section is the message field of the dialog box and the last section is the action button and a dialog box does not fill the entire screen of the android phone and is used to take an action before they can proceed if the user click the erase the whole image and the media will erase and if the user click the cancel the record uh, action is cancelled and the dialog uh, class is the base class for dialog but we should avoid instantiating dialog directly instead use one of the following subclass it means we cannot make the object of the dialog class directly we have to use the following two subclass to make the object of the dialog class uh, the first one is alert dialogs or dialog that can show a title uh, here you can see it is usb studies is the title and up to three buttons here is the two button and a list of selected item or a custom layout the second one is date picker dialog or time picker dialog or dialog that with a predefined user interface that allows the user to select a date or time now to create the dialog we have to use the following code alert dialog dot builder builder is equal to alert dialog dot builder and the parameter inside the parameter field goes the activity name and a dialog box has the three reasons the first one is title second one is content area and third one is action button as i mentioned early this one is the title this section is the content area and the last one is the action button and there are three type of action button one is positive another one is negative and the last one is neutral we have to we should use the positive to accept and continue with the action we should use the negative to cancel the action and the we should use the neutral button when the user may not want to proceed with the action but do not necessarily want to cancel and after creating and building the dialog box we have to dismiss the dialog box and this section explain when the user touches any of the action button it means when the user click either cancel or ok created with an uh, alert dialog dot builder the system dismiss the dialog or we can manually dismiss the dialog by calling dismiss it means when the user click either ok or cancel the system uh, will automatically dismiss the dialog box or we can dismiss the dialog box manually by calling the dismiss method now that's it in the theory part guys now let's implement it in the android studio in order to implement it in the android studio first of all open the android studio and then go to file click on new and then start the new project and provide the name of the project demo dialog box click next select phone and tablet click next select empty activity click next and then click finish now it will take some time to build a grail
the gradle building process is completed now let's go to the resource and then go to layout go to activity underscore main data XML file and let's design the simple login form over here drag plain text and drop over here change the layout underscore watch the match parent and give the id txt user and drag another password field over here and change the layout underscore watch the match parent and id txt pass and provide the hints of this password field password and drag another button and drop over here and similar process for button as well change the layout underscore watch to match parent and provide the id of this button btn login and change the text login and change the text and provide the hints now we just completed the design part go back to the activity on this main and first of all let me zoom it and declare the button in text field over here txt user txt pass and initialize the button and text field over here btn is equal to button find b by id r dot id dot btn login txt user is equal to edit text find b by id r dot id dot txt user there you go underscore txt pass is equal to edit text find view by id r dot id dot txt pass <coughs> oh sorry now create the listening event of this button dot set unclick listener new after creating the listening event of this button now let's take the user input and store in the variable string user is equal to user dot get text dot to string pass is equal to txt pass dot get text dot free string now if user dot equals it mean and pass dot equals it mean we have to show the dialog box so first of all create the dialog box final alert dialog dot builder builder is equal to new all our dialog dot builder there goes this 
activity name main activity the this now we have to provide the title message and the action button so builder dot set title information and then set the message builder dot set message user name and password matched and we have to set the action button positive action button there goes ok and then new listening event and then create the listening event of this dialog box as well and then we have to dismiss the dialog box after clicking the ok button so dialog dot dismiss and outside this listening event we have to create the dialog dialog is equal to builder dot create and we have to show the dialog dot so so now let's run this application and check whether the dialog box will show or not And if you are new to the Android Studio or Android programming, you have to watch the first video that I have uh, uploaded. And the first tutorial I have uploaded was how to get a simple login form in Android Studio and in order to run the application. Let me stop the application first and in order to run the application you need to create the ADB and in order to create the ADB create a new virtual device and then select one of them and click next and then next and then you have to download and after downloading uh, the available device will shown here and open the device and click over here and click OK. there you go now enter the username over here and password over here and click login after clicking login the dialog box should be all the dialog box should be appear there you go this is the title this one is the message field and the last one is the action button click ok so that's it in this tutorial guys if you like this video don't forget to share with this video with your friends and give thumbs up and thank you once again for watching this video bye bye have a good day